fascinating and a bit freaky. The ethereal nature of fungi often leaves me wondering how they even ended up on this planet, let alone on my plate. To demystify the mushroom making process, a collaborative team of designers, artists, and engineers came together to create Mela, a convenient countertop mushroom incubator. Yearning to learn more from fun guys, Andre Zdanoff and Danny Carvalho, I mushed off to First Build, a co-creation community headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky. What exactly is Mela? Mela is a countertop smart fruiting mushroom chamber. If you're excited and passionate about growing mushrooms, this is a device that lets you do it on your countertop as easily as possible. Making growing mushrooms in the home more accessible had, had never really been done. Mushrooms where they do grow in the wild, they can be quite seasonal when they're gonna be available. By the time you might buy the mushroom you love at the store, is it really in those ideal conditions? It's bringing form to table to your kitchen counter as well for those who really love mushrooms. What are the core components of the Mela that are absolutely necessary in order for it to function? It really comes down to what are the three things mushrooms need to have in order to grow properly. Okay. And the answer to that is fresh air, the right humidity, and lighting. With automatic LED lighting, humidity controls, and an easy to fill water reservoir, Mela creates the perfect environment for mushroom growth. Okay, well, I'm very hungry now to actually see Mela in action. Is that cool? Can we check it out? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. What we have here is the current state of Mela and a number of the components and, and the journey of those components as we iterated through the development of Mela. This was an early prototype. So this base allows this side tank where you could fill your water and it's gravity fed. And then this portion right here goes inside Mela itself and allows some of that moisture to come into the cavity where we're controlling it. What's going on here? So these were the original controls for Mela. And we had this box here and then we even had a port so that you could download new software updates or optimize the software software that was running the device. But this is where we got to. We've miniaturized all of this and put it on a single board, giving you independent controls right on the top. All right, well, my curiosity is blooming right now, so <laughs> can we go check out some mushrooms? It's not the only thing blooming, let's do that. <laughs> let's do it, great. Danny, this is what I'm talking about. These mushrooms look fully grown. How do you get from that to these. So this is an inoculated bag of substrate. Okay. So what that means is you'll take uh, grains and sawdust and you'll inject it with a particular strain of mushroom mycelium. When you put this inside of Mela, Mela is gonna make sure that all of those conditions around that substrate block are perfect so that you get awesome results just like this. After just a few days inside of Mela, fully fruited fungi can be harvested. Mycelium is actually one of the largest organisms on the planet but you don't even notice it because it's just in the ground beneath you. The way that you're holding them, they remind me of a bouquet of flowers. So maybe mushrooms end up being the new flowers. There you go. Here, just for you. Oh, thank you. Feels so special. <laughs> yeah, you need them. Too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>